hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix an error that is 0x800 f0900 so if you are receiving this error message when you try to update windows 10 then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to run update troubleshooter to run update troubleshooter go to the start menu and then click on settings and then go to update and security and then click on troubleshoot now over here you will find the windows update troubleshooter or you have to click on additional troubleshooter and then you will find windows update over here and then click on it then click on run the troubleshooter now once the troubleshoot is done restart your computer and then try to update windows 10 once again now in case that does not resolve the problem then you have to go ahead and restart windows update services to restart windows update services just type in services in windows search and then make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then you have to go ahead and find windows update so just press the w key on the keyboard and then you have to find windows update so scroll down and here you can see windows update make a right click and then select properties and then make sure the startup type is set to automatic and then if the start option is highlighted click on start or else you just click on apply ok and then you have to restart the windows updates services so just make a right click once again and then click on restart and once this is done you can go ahead and try to update windows 10 now still you are facing the problem then you have to go ahead and run these command these are dism and sfc command so just open command prompt so just type in cmd in windows search then make a right click on command prompt then click on run as administrator then click on yes to allow and once you have the command prompt window open copy this command these commands are provided in the video description so just paste the command over here and then hit the enter key on the keyboard now once the scan is complete you can go ahead and restart the computer and then try to update windows 10 if that does not resolve the problem then you have to go ahead and run this dism command in powershell so just type in powershell in windows search and then make a right click on windows powershell then click on run as administrator then click on yes to allow and then run the second command this command is also provided in the video description and then hit the enter key on the keyboard and then once the scan is 100% restart your computer and then try to update windows 10 once again so this process may take some time so one do not close the window now let it be 100% then restart your computer now still you are facing the problem then you can use windows 10 update assistant to update your windows 10 so open any browser and then go to the microsoft website just type in media creation tool in google search just type in media creation tool and then go to microsoft website and then here you will find up, uh, update assistant and you can go ahead and update the windows manually so click on update now a exe file will download you have to go ahead and run this exe file and then click on yes to allow and it will check for update and if there are any pending update it will go ahead and update your windows 10 if that does not resolve the problem then the last step is to use media creation tool so again go to the same website and then click on download tool now and run this exe file now once you run this exe file you will see media creation tool on your window on your screen so you have to agree to the terms and condition after you agree to the terms and condition you will see these uh, these options which says upgrade this pc now so select the option which says upgrade this pc now then click on next now it will start downloading windows 10 on the computer along with the latest update so this process will take time because this is a large file so uh, depending upon the speed of your internet it will go ahead and download the file and once the download is complete it will go ahead and install the windows 10 along with the latest update now do not worry about the data loss because during the before the installation you will see this uh, you know options uh, which will say ready to install and by default key personal files and app will be checked 
Now, once this is checked, which says keep personal files and app, that means you will not lose any data on the computer. So do not worry about the data lost and then click on install and it will go ahead and install Windows 10 along with the latest update. And once that is done, log into your computer and you will have the latest update and you will not receive this error message anymore. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.